leaving last year. Now he's a starter. He goes against James Paxton. Well, I think the big thing with Detweiler, he's going to see a fastball at 90 to 92 miles an hour curveball changeup. He has been up in the zone, so things have been rough his first couple outings. Hopefully the Mariners can take advantage of that at Paxton. He just needs to command his fastball. If he can do that, the Rangers off to a rough start offensively. He should be able to handle it. Fans enjoying it here. Bright sunshine, blue sky on a Sunday afternoon in Seattle. It all adds up. Let's see if the Mariners can get a victory. Rangers and Mariners first pitch is straight ahead. The Rangers and Mariners series sponsorship is presented by Chevrolet on this beautiful Sunday, the first home Sunday game, the 2015 season for the Mariners, as they debut their cream uniforms, their altern alternate cream uniforms, to wrap up this series against the Texas Rangers. Good to have you with us from Safe Go Field. James Paxton on the mound, making his third start. And he goes against the Ranger Ball Club that he's one and one over the course of his brief career. Let's take a look at the batting order for the Texas Rangers. For the Ranger lineup that has been struggling, Martin will lead things off. Look at both of the hits for the Rangers last night. Felix was terrific. Martin, both hits. And it's Andrews Fielder off to a good start. 383 average for him. He will hit third and be the D8. Feltre, Chu, and Rosales in the middle of the lineup. Odor, Smolensky, and Corporan rounding out the nine for the Rangers this afternoon. James Paxton making his third start on the season. You take a look at his overall numbers from last year. ERA just over three, a six-game winner. Obviously hurt for a lot of last year's season, so hopefully he's healthy this year. The man of strikes on good fastball. He'll be in the mid-90s with a curveball and a changeup. This afternoon's defensive alignment is brought to you by American Family Insurance. Ruggiano getting the start in left field. Jackson in center and Cruz out and right. Seager to third baseman. Willie Bloomquist getting his second start at shortstop. Then it's Cano and Morrison on the right side of the infield. And Jesus Sucre will do the catching this afternoon. Last start for Paxton. Six in the third. Six in five earned runs. 95 pitch in his last outing. Typically he pitches down in the zone in that last outing. A number of fastballs elevated ended up costing him. So hopefully he can get that worked out this afternoon. Skipper cut right to the chase. Question. What do you want to see from Paxton that you haven't seen? This is eight innings and no hits. No, I'm serious. Eight innings, no hits. <laughs> Here's Leonis Martin. First pitch. Up 
five for ball one. Happy salute to Armed Forces Day here at Safe Goldfield. Lloyd went on to say that it really liked progression Paxton's on. He had the one bad inning in L.A., but getting to a point where he's starting to catch up after missing some time during spring training. 64 degrees, wind out of the west at five. There's the first strike of the ball game. Two and one. Well, we've seen James Paxton when he's been at his best. You're going to obviously see some strikeouts, but consistently keeping the ball on the ground. We talked about his arm angle throwing downhill, typically pitches at the bottom of the strike zone. If he's able to establish that early, it should be a good day. Broken bat, fly ball, right field, sliding catch made out there by Nelson Cruz. One out. Looked as if he took a pretty good divot out of the grass in right field. Take a look at it. A little jam shot off of Martin. And a good play by Cruz as he slides in our Alaska Super Mo. Concentration by Cruz to make the catch. Happy to see that it was his spikes that tore up the grass. Sometimes you'll stick your knee into the ground and that'll cause some problems. But one away. He's up shortstop Elvis Andrews. It's 0 for 3 against Paxton. Paxton 1 and 1 against Texas in two previous starts in the area of 0.71. 0 for 3 last night, drove in a run with a ground out in the fifth inning. Another good crowd on hand here today, not quite as big as the last two days. 43,017 last night, 36,606 on Friday, but a lot of fans come out to enjoy the sunshine and some baseball this afternoon. 2 and 1. Felix was great last night. You'd like to see Paxton take advantage of this Ranger lineup. They are struggling right now. They have seven hitters in their lineup hitting under 200 to start the year. Cano, nice play. Plenty of arm to throw him out. Two down. Look at this one hopper, the stab by Cano. Ball was hit firm, so he knew he had plenty of time. Dave mentioned a strong arm. He has a shortstop's arm. Plenty of arm to throw out, Andrews. That fabulous blue sky above here at Safe Co Field. Mariners coming in with a record of four and seven. The Rangers at five and seven. See the Rangers again. The next road trip, which starts a week from tomorrow. It's Prince Fielder. 0 for 4 yesterday against. Mariner pitching. Chop foul. Felix with 12 strikeouts. Farquhar with two. Fernando Rodney with one. A total of 15 Ks against this lineup. There's Felix. Hey, and Beltre. <laughs> Their dialogue continues. Cano. And Lomo can't come up with it. Might have had him. Fielder not that fast. He was at full tilt for the big man. An infield hit. Cano showing some range today, going to his right again. I thought this ball was headed to center field. You can see the amount of distance he had to cover was not hit hard, but still had to get there and then snap throw over to first. Let's see if Morrison wasn't able to handle it. Would have been a close call. Good look at our Alaska Super Bowl. Well, it looks like Fielder would have beaten it out. That will be an infield hit. Brings up Adrian Beltre, two for four against Paxton. Looks at a strike. Beltre 0 for three last night. Felix struck him out looking in the fourth inning. Backing up Jackson. He's got plenty of room. And Paxton has a nice first inning. It's up just an infield hit to Prince Fielder. Mariners are going to bat against Ross Detweiler when we return.
Today we are proud, as always, to be an American, but today here with the Mariner Organization, proud to salute Armed Forces Day. And how about this? 34 plus years of service, three deployments and retiring in a matter of a few weeks. Thank you for your service. Let's take a look at the Mariner batting order that will face Ross Detweiler. Mine is brought to you by Chevron. Austin Jackson will lead things off, and it's Ricky Weeks at the eighth hitting second. Cano, a five-game hitting streak for him, hitting 381 over that streak with a home run and a couple of doubles. Cruz, Seager, and Ruggiano in the middle of the lineup. Willie Bloomquist getting the start at shortstop. He will hit seventh. Morrison and Sucre rounding out the nine for the Mariners. Take a look at Ross Detweiler, what he did last year. Was in the bullpen for the Nationals last year, a starter now. ERA right at four. Like phase three of the career of Russ Detweiler began his career as a starter, extensive time as a reliever, 47 games last year out of the pen, two and three, 4.0 ERA. Now back as a starter. Jackson, 101. Well, for the Mariners, they're going to see a 90 to 92 mile an hour fastball. We'll try to cut it in on the right hander's hands at times, a curveball and a changeup. A high strike, one and two. Jackson two for three last night, an infield hit, the base hit the center. Detweiler struggling in his first two outings against Oakland, gave up five earned runs and four and a third, and then against the Angels, five earned runs and five and two thirds. Rangy left-hander, 6'3", 215, was in Lake St. Louis, Missouri. Breaking ball, hit the left field, deep, going back. It's gone! A home run for Austin Jackson. His first of the season, and the Mariners have a 1 0 lead. Austin Jackson on a 1 2 pitch leaves the building. And that was on the curveball. First home run since July 21st last year. He was with Detroit. He got it done at Arizona. Well, no surprise that Lloyd McClendon going with his right handed hitting lineup as you take a look at the swing by Austin Jackson. Our Alaska Supermo catches this curveball 79 miles an hour right out in front of home plate. But if you look at the numbers for Detweiler in his career against lefties, 233 hitter against Detweiler. Right-handers, 287. Lefties, four home runs in their career. Right-handers, 38. So no surprise that Lloyd McClendon loading up the lineup with as many righties as he can. So if you see guys sprinting up to the batter's box, you'll understand. <laughs> well, especially after his struggles in his first two outings. Popped up going back to second baseman Odor. One away. Mariners defense brought to you by American Family Insurance. Smolinski will be in left field. Martin, the center fielder, Chu out in right. Beltre and Andrews on the left side of the infield. Odor, the second baseman. Rosales getting his second start of the series at first base. A Corcoran, first chance to see him this year. We'll do the catching. Here's Robinson Cano riding a five-game hitting streak. Cano two for four last night. First inning double, a fourth inning single, and a run scored. Bill Miller's got home plate today. Adrian Johnson, the umpire at first, Jim Wolf at second, and Adam Homari at third. Shattered bat. Underhand flip by Detweiler. Two outs. One of the better fastballs you're going to see from Detweiler, that one at 92 miles an hour. Pitch in off the plate, no helping him out a little bit as he gets jammed. Ed Weiler in interleague play in his career with the national 16 interleague game, six starts. 0 2 record of 3 7 1 ERA. The 
Marcus Cruz is hitting streak to seven games. Fourth inning single right. Yesterday on an 0-2 pitch that was away from him. And threw his hands out there. Barrel got there and shot it through the hole. Drive deep to left. Going back. Boom stick, baby, is first here at Safe Cove Field. 2 nothing Mariners. To the bullpen, Jason Phillips and the boys enjoying it. Seventh home run for Cruz, his tenth run batted in. Stop speed pitch again. I think this is on the changeup or Alaska Super Bowl and the swing by Cruz. It's borderline down, had to dig it out. Jason Phillips out in the bullpen. Way to go, Philly! Way to go, Philly! <laughs> Strike to Kyle Seeger. <laughs> Good catch. <laughs> well done, Jason. <laughs> Fine catcher during his days with the Mets. In the bullpen catcher here for several years. He got yeah. married out in that bullpen not too long ago. 0 2 here to Seeger inside. Dave, it's been interesting to watch this Mariner club. Right now, 24 of the 38 runs they've scored is via the home run. Now they've struggled hitting with runners in scoring position, but it's nice to see the power in the lineup. Absolutely. 16th home run. Make that 16, make that 17. They got two here in this inning. Seager's got a 2 2 count. So Deadwater has been hurt on a couple of off speed pitches. Jackson hitting the curveball out. Cruz hitting a changeup. 3 and 2 to Seager. Rujano on deck. I like the new uniforms. They're really good. Yeah, they are. I like them. Kyle thinking ahead. He has the shoes to match. Change the color <laughs> on his shoes. <laughs> that will stay fair. Adam Rosales will touch it up. A little home run derby in the first inning. Off speed pitches, and the Mariners jump on a couple of pitches. Here's Austin Jackson. First home run of the season. Two outs later, nobody on. Big man goes large. That'll be for Cruz, his seventh home run and extends his hitting streak to eight games, two nothing Mariners.
Jackson on the left, Cruz on the right. As you see the Mariners' new alternate uniforms, the cream colored uniforms they'll wear on Sundays at home. The two home runs takes the Mariner total to 17. We'll have to check what Baltimore and the Yankees did today. Baltimore and the Yankees had 17 entering today, and Toronto 16. Shin Su Chu to lead it off. Ball one to Shin Su, Adam Rosales, and Ruth Ned Odor to follow. And here Bill Miller say outside, 2 0. Oh. Infield hit given up by Paxton in the first inning to Prince Fielder. 0 oh for 4 last night for Chu. Right. Another nice touch with the uniforms. Any names on the back of it? Just yeah. the number. That blue jumps too. It really pops. Good match with the cream and trimmed in gold. It's a very good look. Five ball left field for Ruggiano. Glasses on, makes the catch. And some of the accoutrement is a good looking blue sweat top. It's a good color. I think they're going to move a lot of that product as we move forward. Well, my boys are at home watching the game, so I'm <laughs> sure I'll get a text message on what I need to bring home. Hey, Mike, you want to heat up that plastic right now? A <laughs> couple of hats, probably. <laughs> Make. I'm sure that expiration date is good. <laughs> Strike one to Adam Rosales. His dad's been hit up already. That a boy. You were a good kid in school. You had a good year in Little League. Here's your prize. A brand new Mariner. You're 0 and 2 here to Rosales. What a perfect day for baseball. Loose guys. Not going to get too warm. I probably hit 70, 71 degrees. Yeah, that's not bad. Take on April 19th. Light wind coming out of the north. They say it's at five miles an hour. Took extensive work on Friday at shortstop. Handles his first play. Really working out a lot in preparation for this start at shortstop today. Next Sunday, Boeing salute to kids today at Safe Gofield. Mariners will be hosting the Twins. All kids score a free Kyle Seeger t shirt and the Mariners' new cream alternate look. So make sure you join the fun. Get your tickets at Mariners.com. So much to like about last night's 3 1 victory. And when McClendon probably put it best, a lot of things happened yesterday. Felix built up his fit pitch count. Zanino got his confidence back with the home run. Led to a win, and Rodney got a save and his swagger back. Like Z getting the day off. It's a good night all the way around. Tricky, tricky turn through the five hole of Kyle Seeger. That'll be an E5. Over the course of the summer, you will not see this happen very often. Kyle playing in right at the cut of the grass. A little slicer at him. That's Kyle's first error on the year. Ball spinning sideways. Hang in there, Spolinski. Two outs, a man aboard. Jake Smolinski. Fouls it off. Smolinski batting in a nine hole in last night's game, 0 for 2. Hit by a pitch. That was in the fifth, and that went back to review, was reviewed back in New York, and they said it did hit him. It certainly in the replays we saw it looked like he got all back. She 
This one the other way. Base hit. Two men aboard. Well, I thought it was a bad call. I thought it was obvious, too. They ended up costing Felix an earned run. But here's the swing by Smolinski. Solid line drive into right field. Looks like it's on a breaking ball. Maybe it's curveball that Paxton left up in the zone. Second hit of the season for Smolinski. Now two for 18. Bring up the catcher, Carlos Corcoran, switch hitter. He backs up Robinson Chirinos. Certainly a different bunch of batting averages with this Texas team. Not what we're used to seeing back in the back to back years they went to the World Series. One main reason Nelson Cruz now plays for the Mar Mariners. During his two years he was a big part of the success. World Series trips in 2010 and 2011. Corporate in his sixth game. Time credit. He's got a homer and two runs batted in. Chirinos leads the team with two home runs. Odor at second, Smolitsky at first. Two outs here in the second. Home runs by Jackson and Cruz in the first inning had the Mariners in front. One on one. I'm curious as James moves through this game, his velocity go up. Right now it's fastball at 92 miles an hour. We're used to seeing more 94 to 95 in that area. Next pitch will be 30 for him in the ball game. There's a better fastball at 94. There's got Corcoran one and two. Other action in the American League West. Houston leads at home against the Angels four to two. And Oakland leads at Kansas City two one in the seventh. Strike three. Corcoran called out and that will end the Texas second inning. No runs, a hit, an error, and two men left. Two nothing, Mariners. To buy Chevrolet by BNSF Railway, sponsor the BNSF Blast, and by the Rockwood Fired Kitchen, pizza, burgers, and spirits.
You look at the north end of the market, Victor Stein Brook Park. Beautiful day. As the Mariners lead 2 0. Fly ball right center field. It's off the bat of Justin Ruggiano, one away. Home runs by Jackson and Cruz in the first inning. April in Seattle and bright sunshine, blue sky. And the pen, tell you what. It's been busy the last three days. Man, oh man, they, they, they've probably broken the counter out there. It's the third day in a row it has been positively jammed. And they've been showing up early, too. Mm hmm. There's really Bloomquist. That's the strike. Really 0 for 2 against Detweiler. Really in his fourth game of the season. No play. 0 for 2. It's interesting. And you, just with Willie, you see it all the time. and. One of the things that Lloyd does such a good job of, I'm sure, communicating with the veteran guys. Lynn, I know you mentioned Willie out taking ground balls on Friday, and he was out there early this morning taking his ground ball shortstop. Typically on day games, the guys don't do a whole lot, maybe hitting the cages a little bit to get loose, but Willie was out taking ground balls. But one of the things that was more impressive to me was Ricky Weeks was out there taking ground yes, balls sir. shortstop. And Ricky, you know, obviously he's been a second baseman his entire career and has gotten a lot of his work out in left field in the summit first. But, you know, I was thinking about it just in case, you know, that's part of the deal. Exactly right. Inside. It's great to see. I, I like seeing that. Lloyd's big on versatility, so is Jack Sorensic when he's bringing guys in. Well, he's worked a 3 2 count. Drives one. Left field, but it's not going to leave the yard. It's Smolinski. We'll get there in plenty of time, but the ball jumps off of Willie's bat for out number two. The next BECU family night. It's coming up tomorrow. Members host the Astros. First time we'll see them. Each member of the family will get a select U level seat for one low price. To get this great deal and great seat for Monday's game, log on to Mariners.com and get your tickets right now. Logan Morris. Lomo one for three on a four game hitting streak, and he did not like that call. Century Link, what's next? Asher Wojanowski against Asashi Iwakuma. Alan McHugh, boy, he was tough last year. He's tough on the Mariners. Roberto Hernandez against Jay Happ. Cap has been really good in his two starts. Oh, two strikes to Morris. There's Jay. Friday's out. He went seven innings. Gave up a couple of runs. Two two. This team has a chance to get really get going. I mean, Hap showed you some good stuff. Felix wasn't 100%, was brilliant last night. Well, Tom and Walker got to get him straight now. Iwakuma going in the right direction. Right. Iwakuma's had a couple of tough innings. He's elevated the ball. That's, that's cost him, but I feel confident that he's going to get it straight now. 3 2 pitch. And I think the main thing is with Hap going seven, and Felix, of course, going seven. Last night, the bullpen back in good shape. Some frayed wires out there for a while with some of these short stints by the starters. Well, it's never good when you show up to the ballpark and Lloyd Nick lists four of your relievers that aren't available that day. <laughs> that's that's not a good thing. No, it's not. I'm laughing because he's sitting there watching him grit his teeth. Who's available? And he starts going down a list and the list keeps going. <laughs> he's looks at listing those relievers and he starts adding Willie to the list. Do you have problems? <laughs> Three and two to Lomo. <laughs> Willie's our long guy today. <laughs> Good at bat for Morrison to be the ninth pitch in the sit bat. Belts 
Trey. Outstanding at bat for Logan Morrison. Extends his hitting streak to five games. On the ninth pitch of the at bat, he gets a fastball on the outside corner. It's down, too. See the way he was able to stay with it? Hit the ball hard past one of the best in the business in Adrian Beltre. Offensive numbers are starting to pick up. We're seeing his batting average starting to climb back up. It's good. Inside to Jesus Sucre playing in his second game. He's 0 for 2. Inside Morrison takes off. Here's the throw down a second. He's in there. Alert fish running by Logan Morrison. This is all about anticipating the ball in the dirt and Morrison getting a pretty good lead and as soon as he sees the ball kick away from the catcher Corcoran he takes off and really it was a good recovery from Corcoran because Lomo took off right away throw ended up offline as he rushed it trying to get it down to second base. Sucre with an RBI opportunity. Two one. Dropped it up Odor. Go back. The play. No runs, a hit. No errors, and a man left. 2 nothing. Mariners. Two count Austin Jackson first home run since last July and then this next guy this kind of thing is habit forming isn't it <laughs> Nelson Cruz goes a little bump stick baby hitting straight to eight games with Jason Phillips of the catch of the day what the reaction reaction of the bullpen guys <laughs> they may have been more excited about that than the home run <laughs> I think you're right <laughs> That's a good looking bunt. That's a great bunt. Leonis Martin. Lost start. The drag bunt. Good stuff. Paxton couldn't get there in time. Good news. No injury incurred. Yeah, good call on that. 
I think Martin now he ends up getting a bunt base hit, but I think he's tried to bunt for a hit in all three games. Here's Anderson. He's a good bunter. Strike one to Elvis who grounded out the short, and they're going to change Morrison's stolen base. We agree with this, Mike, to a pass ball. Morrison, he, he wasn't going anywhere until he saw the ball kick away from the glove of the catcher. The ball didn't touch the ground, so I think it was a pass ball. It's a good change. Still a heads up play by Morrison to take off right away and get himself into scoring position. That's the one on one to the Rangers shortstop. Two and one. Rounders looking for their first double play since Wednesday. So far, I've seen James. He's topped out at 94 miles an hour, but this fastball today has been 91, 92, 92 on that last fastball. Count it two and two. His third start for the big 26 year old lefty. Slow roller. He'll get one out of this, maybe. And Lomo pulled off the bag and the throw by Bloomquist on that slow roller. Infield hit. We'll take a look at it in the swing by Andrews. This ball's going to end up right above his hands. Shatters the bat. Split it in half. Good fastball from Paxton. Called it an E6. I think that's a tough error. Andrews can get down the line in good shape, and the ball was not hit hard. I totally agree with that. There's Fielder. There you go. Ball one to Prince. You got the first Ranger hit an infield hit first inning. It's two errors in the game with the Mariners, one on Seeger and one for Olympus. Slap the other way. Foul ball. Boy, that was gonna be a heap of trouble because you had two flyers on the base pass. Take another look at the weak round ball by Andrews Willie charging it as hard as he can gets rid of it quickly. The throw pulls Morrison off the base but it looked as if that would have been a close call either way maybe just getting him. And they give Willie the air. Baxton's got a one and one count. Prince Fielder. This and through the hole. Martin coming around third. There'll be no throw from Cruz. Holding it second is Andrews. RBI single for Prince Fielder. We get a 2 1 ball game. Prince is sixth RBI. And he's two for two today. Well, he has been the one hot hitter for the Rangers. And when you're hot, Paxton trying to get the ground ball, hopefully for a double play, but this one will find a hole on the right side of the infield. The 
As Dave mentioned, good speed on the bases as Martin comes around to score. No play for Cruz in right. Fielder having a great start, starting today sixth in the American League in hitting. Nick Waits, the pitching coach, out. Rick once property of the Rangers was traded by the Rangers organization to Cleveland for Gaylord Perry. Late in Gaylord's career. Brings up Beltre. Wide out the center. Still nobody out. Talked about Pax at the start of the show when things are going well. He's keeping the ball on the ground. He needs a double play ball right here. All right, Chopper, it'll be lucky to get one here. Seeger holds on, everybody's safe. That's the biggest Baltimore chop I think I've ever seen. That was an amazing hang time. We talked about the Rangers struggling. You see how high that ball ends up in the air. There's in a play for Kyle Seeger. He does the right thing by not throwing it. And think about this inning, it's a punt base hit. A shattered bat that they give Willie an error on. 55, 55 hopper through the right side of the infield, and now that one packs into trouble. Base is loaded. And nobody out. Shinsu Chu, the hitter. Fly it out to left on a 3 1 pitch his first time. No one. Rangers haven't hit a ball hard yet. Two infield singles. Single to left and an error. Boy, oh boy. And not hit hard either. Momo will take the out at first run. Scores tie ball game. Chu drives in a run is fourth. Oh, baby, and oh, there's baby, one out me. with runners at second and third. In and over, Chu. Oh, in and over. And it looks as if the Mariners are going to play their infield about halfway with Fielder running at third. That one's hit hard. Charging is Ruggiano. Fielder, he scores. And the Rangers have a 3 2 lead. RBI for Adam Rosales is third of the year. And this is a first pitch off speed pitch. Probably the curveball 80 adds the curveball 80 miles an hour, but he leaves it up. A three run inning here in the third for Texas. Still only one out runners at the corners. Seventh man to the plate, Ruben Neto Dor. Good speed, the ball, another two hopper is not hit hard. Beats it out easily. He's on via fielder's choice in a four run third inning. And it dirt, Sucre keeps it in front of him. This is Jake Smolinski. Get a base hit to right in the second inning. Things have not gone well for James here in this inning, and 
needs to make sure that he pays attention to Odora over at first base. He can run. Two and oh. Wrapping the batter. Let's go. 18 pitches so far in the inning. Smolensky. Carlos Corcoran, the on deck hitter. The Rangers are three for six with runners in scoring position this afternoon. Back with a strike three and one. Going to get loose in the pen. 3 1 pitch. It will. Left field. Going back. Gone. Two run homer. Jake Smolinski, his first. And they've blown it open here in the third inning. Two run homer for Jake Smolinski. Rangers have a 6 2 lead. We talked about it with James. His velocity a little bit down here in this one. It falls behind 3 and 1. And here's a high fastball. 3 90, 1 count. Yeah, 3 and 1 count and a 92 mile an hour fastball just above the belt. Hmm. Ninth man to the plate is Corbett. This one hit down a right field line. Long run for Cruz. That is a fair ball. It's going to bounce into the stance for a ground rule double. Boy. He does not have it today. Sixth hit in the inning. Another pitch up in the zone. 92 miles an hour in the middle of the plate and up. Rick Waits. They get a call out to the bullpen. And the Rangers have batted around. Second time through for Leonis Martin. A lot of work to do for the Mariners now. 10th man to the plate is Martin. Up the middle base hit. Coming around is Corporate. And he will score. And there is lighting up James Paxton. And he is hearing it. And Lloyd quickly out of the dugout. We'll put a merciful end to this outing here in the third inning with the 11th man about to come to the plate. It's all Rangers 7-2.
Brad, Bill, Angie, and Jen. Let's get a look at some guys getting a workout in at Bobby Moore's play field at Capitol Hill. What are you thinking of for, Mike? Looks pretty good. I like it. Get some work in. Boy, they're getting after me. I like it. Alright, one turn double play. It looks pretty good. Alright. Big mountain to climb now for the Mariners down 7-2. Rangers about to send their 11th man to the plate here in the third inning. As Tyler Olson takes over. James Paxson did not have it. Two and two thirds, nine hits, seven runs, six earned. He's responsible for the man on the base paths right now. A walk, no walks, and one strikeout. James, I, I noticed it right away. We were been talking about it. his velocity was down. A lot of his yeah. off-speed pitches up in the zone. We take a look at Tyler Olson. Four and a third innings for him so far. Four strikeouts, five walks. Tyler Olson made his debut in the first home stand. Through one pitch and got a double play. Got the pitch in LA as well. So I feel like I'm pitching now and not praying for strikes. Thinking about what just happened. Hurricane blowing through here. He just did not have it today. Velocity was down, location was down. Drive to left. Ruggiano going back on the track, fighting the sun, and he makes a heck of a catch. Well done by JR out there to stop the bleeding in the third. Seven runs, seven hits, one error, one man left. It's been all Rangers in this inning. The Mariners got some work to do. They'd be one of the first 
to own the new Sunday home alternate jersey and cap. Mariners Team Store has these great looking jerseys and caps available in adult women's and youth sizes. So be sure to stop by any one of the five convenient locations at Safeco Field, downtown Seattle, 4th and Stewart, Bellevue Square, South Center, and Alderwood Mall. Top of the order for the Mariners here in the bottom of the third. Austin Jackson, Ricky Weeks, and Robinson Cano against Ross Detweiler. He's got a big lead now at 7 to 2. Jackson's had a good home stand. Four for eight, a homer and a walk. And the count 2 0. Oh. There's a strike. Jackson with the home run in the first inning is 11th career leadoff home run. And he's aboard. Keep your eye on the bus. Follow us from a safe distance on Twitter at Sound Transit. Ricky Weeks popped up to second base. Ricky, one of the few hitters that has experience against Detweiler. He's now three for nine with a home run. Ricky spinning. 11 years with the Milwaukee Brewers. Detweiler came up with the Washington Nationals. Nationals 4 1 winners against Philly today. Center field for Mark Team. Ran ace with the catch. Bring up Robinson Cruz and a broken bat comebacker, Detweiler. His first at bat, riding a five game hitting streak. Rangers with seven runs on nine hits. Seven runs and seven hits in the third. It's 11 men coming to the plate. Ball one to Cano. Just a strange inning, wasn't it? The bunt base hit, then the shattered bat. Total. Weak ground ball through the right side. Beltray chops one off the plate, and then after that, they start hitting the ball hard off of Paxton. Rosales' ball was smacked. The home run was hit pretty well by Corporate's Double. Double, and then the single by Martin. Seven runs are earned. Two one count here for Cano. Inside three and one. Cruise on deck. Three and two. Four three Houston lead over the Angels, top the eighth in Houston. It helps him out, chases a pitch that is down in the zone. In the middle of the plate, but down in the zone. The corporate got a piece of that. Bill Miller find him some time. 
Kansas City 4 2 lead on the A's. That's in the bottom of the eighth in Kansas City. Back safely is Austin Jackson. Detroit took it out on Chicago today, 9-1. Tigers off to a 10-2 start. Pitch to Cano. Smacked in the right field. That'll get down for a base hit. Jackson will cruise to third. Now here come the Mariners right back. Cano's hitting streak extended to six games. How about Nelson Cruz? 1-0 pitch, first at bat. it out of here for his seventh home run in RBI number 10. Ended up getting a change up 85 miles an hour probably down out of the zone but was able to dig it out. Mr. Griffey and Mr. Rodriguez in front of Cruz who's with seven. Ten games remaining. Let's see if we run them down. Good opportunity for the Mariners to get back in the game. Only the third inning. Jason Phillips, he caught the Cruz home run in the first inning, caught it out in the Mariners' bullpen. So strong, he hits it off the roof of the Rangers' bullpen. My goodness. Just give me another ball. There's now some action out in the Rangers' bullpen. Three home runs given up by Detweiler. 15th career multi home run game for that man right there, Nelson Cruz. And a second this season. Anthony Bass getting loose in the Ranger pen. So popped up. Out of play. Phone calls Cano and Felix <laughs> Hernandez to Cruz, man, paying dividends here in the month of April. That's a slicing drive that will get down off the bat of Kyle Seeger, run down by Martin. Kyle will hold with the base hit. Three consecutive hits by the big boys in the middle of the order. Cano with a single and three run homer by Cruz, and now Seeger checks in with a base hit. Talking about hitting the ball hard. It's the middle of the lineup that's been doing it. Martin can cover a lot of ground in center field. Thought maybe he was going to get past him, but he's able to cut it off. Strong throwing arm to hold Kyle to a single. Corbin going to buy some time for Anthony Bass. The right hander getting loose in the pen for the Rangers. Shannon would like to have a big Mariner moment. Veterans been with Tampa Bay 07, 08, and 11. Miami at 12 and 13. The Cubs last year. Starts this year as a career 257 hitter in the big leagues. Now 
Boston so far, one for ten in limited action. With the Mariners, this is ninth game. He represents a tying run. Slow chopper down to Beltre. Beltre zips it across. Safe! Adrian knew he had to hurry. Base hit. There's a little bit of side spin on this. Watch this ball is going to kick to his right a little bit, and I think that throws everything off. Had a hard time with the exchange. Ball in the dirt. Ruggiano running hard the entire time will pick up an infield hit. Four consecutive hits of Chase Ross Detweiler here in the third. As we got a wild one at Safeco. Seven five are all in the bottom of the third. Yes, clearly this game not following any sort of script. Thanks so much to all of you who continue to send in your photos using the hashtag where I root. Corey sends this one in from the third base side with my father, uh, U.S. Marine Corps. Salute to Armed Forces Day. Thanks so much, Corey, for the picture and also for your services. I love this one. Mainly got a ball autograph of Taiwan Walker, then closed her eyes for the pitch. Now, picture rather. Uh, that's why you take like two or three all the time. And uh, you don't just have to be here. You could be elsewhere. This one, all the way from Idaho, made their way to Safeco Field. Welcome, Ryan. All right, guys. Just when you think you know what's going to happen in this game, the beginning of this game, the Mariners jump out 2 nothing. then Texas, and now the Mariners again. All right, Angie, thank you very much. Is Willie Blomquist, seventh man to the plate here in the third. New pitcher, Anthony Bass. Willie really flied out to left his first time. Mariners have runners at first and second, one out. Martin settles under it. Gets it back in. Two away. Well, Logan Morris. Looking for his first long ball of the season. He did get a base hit in the second inning. Hit it hard to left field. Extended his hitting streak to five games. Looking for his first RBI, and this is a good time for it. If we take a look at the numbers for Anthony Bass this year, 10 and two thirds. He has nine strikeouts. Walked four batters. Opponents hitting 225. He has not given up a home run. Runners in scoring position. That one base hit the home run by Cruz. One and zero to Lomo. One and one. Tough 
tough day for both starters. Paxson going two and two thirds, and Deadweiler two and a third. Mm. Anthony Bass, we saw him with Houston last year. In the three prior years, he was with San Diego. 1 1 to Morrison. Two men aboard. Takes it for a strike. 1 and 2. Morrison represents go ahead run here with two outs and two on. Two pitch. Jack knife sound away. Two and two. Jesus yeah. Sucre on deck. Seeger at second. Reggiano at first. Two outs. Two and two count. That man Nelson Cruz homered in his first two at bats and driven in four runs. Pitch. All right. Three. Call. Good inning nonetheless. As the Mariners get the three run homer from Nelson Cruz, Strand tune back in the ball game, trailing 7 5. And have your son along with your coffee, then go next door to Elliott Bay Book Company. Seattle, of course, most literate city in, in America. Some good reads in there, 10th Avenue and Capitol Hill. Worth checking out. Here at Safeco Field, our first Sunday home game in 2015, and we've had some <laughs> fireworks. My goodness, Mariners working their way back to cut the deficit to just two runs. Here's Prince Fielder looking at ball one. James Paxson did not have it. The Mariners' his teammates trying to pick him up. They come back with three in the bottom of the third. Fielder having a good day, an infield hit, and an RBI single to right. Starting the fourth inning, we've already seen 12 runs and 16 hits in this one. Tyler Olson in relief of James Paxton. Will be fielder Beltre and Chu, three, four, and five in the order for the Rangers. Just joining us, Mariners in their new cream colored uniforms, big block numbers, royal blue and gold. Three and one. Was he trying to hit that one too? Well, he's been getting a lot of hits here at the start of the season. Has yet to hit a ball out of the ballpark. And we'll take a look at this last swing in our Alaska Super Mo. He swings under that fastball, 88 miles an hour. Herniated disc cut his season short. 
last May. Strike three, gone, and he knew it. First time seeing Tyler Olson, and Tyler dropped down from first base on him. Pick up a strikeout. Pick up a couple of strikes on his slider. Both of them on the inside corner, just throwing it right at the hip of Fielder, freezing him. No argument for Fielder at all. A pitch right on the inside corner. There's Beltre. Another healthy hack. Strike one. Got a Baltimore chop base hit. Chopped it off the plate and it went up way up in the air. Seeger charged, grabbed, and held on. That loaded up the bases. Flight out the centers first time. One on one, AB. Shinsu Chu on deck. Breaking ball misses. Two and two. Tyler has been interesting to watch. We're really just getting to know him and had a great spring. But the thing that I like about him is he will change arm angles. He will change the speeds on his breaking ball. Work both sides of the plate. Two two to Beltre missed away. Starter at Gonzaga now working out of the pin here with the Mariners. Big Mariner fan growing up in Spokane is look at you. Three two pitch. Slow breaking ball. Didn't miss by much. Walker. This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Seattle Mariners. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form, and the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Seattle Mariners. One out base runner for the Rangers in the fourth. It's up Shin Su Chu. A good crowd here at Safeco Field. It's a first walk issued by Mariner pitching. You have fly to left in an RBI ground out. Big inning for Texas in the third. 11 men to the plate, seven runs on seven hits. There was a Mariner error and one man left, and then the Mariners respond quickly. Three run homer by Cruz, part of a three run, four hit attack, leaving two on. In the bottom half of that inning. And second. Let's take a look at it. it's another breaking ball. He was able to pick up a strike on the inside corner to the left hand hitter again. But you can see Sucre he continues to set up away from the lefties, and Tyler's just not able to get the breaking ball on that side of the plate right now. He ends up hitting two with another breaking ball. Brings up Adam Rosales, a ground out to short, an RBI single to left. An RBI single in the third in the big inning. One. 
A one pitch. At the other way, going foul. Homestead continues with the Houston Astros coming to town. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all 7 10 start times. Mariners enjoy a home day off on Thursday and wrap up the homestand with three with Minnesota. 7 10 Friday, 6 10 Saturday. And next Sunday, we'll be right back here at 1 10. And the Kings Court get those seats for Friday night. Swing and a miss. Court screws Rosales with a strikeout. Two caves here in the fourth. Tyler Olson, two away, and here's a look at Century Link. What's next? Colin McHugh came out. Was it last year, year before last? Where who is this guy? And boy, he pits a couple of great games against the Mariners. And he's off to a great start. Two yeah. and zero with a 1.54 ERA. He has pitched well out of the gate. To Lomo off the bat of Odor, and that will do it. Tyler Olson strands two here in the fourth, keeps it a 7 5 game. Nelson Cruz. First one caught by Jason Phillips, who happened to be in the right place at the right time, to the delight of his teammates out there. And then this big three run blast gets the Mariners right back in the ball game. That was in the third inning. Well, game changer indeed. What a start to the season for Cruz. Already eight home runs. Anthony Bass breaking ball for a strike to Jesus Sucre leading up the Mariners home fourth. He'll be followed by Austin Jackson and Ricky Weeks. Bass on in relief of starter Ross Detweiler. Or Bass sinker slider split. His fastball will be 89 to 92 miles an hour. Sucre bounces one to Andrews. Throws him out. Let's take a look at our Delta Airlines keep climbing standings. Just gone final. Houston 4 3 over the Angels. KC 4 2 beating Oakland. So this is up to the minute. And Houston on top by a half game. They brought Luke Gregerson in to save games. He got a save for Houston. And uh, it was Morales beating the Oakland ball club. Eric O'Flaherty taking the loss. A lot of people talking about the Angels and the Mariners in the West, but Houston's going to cause some problems. Uh, I think they're a much improved ball club. 
Meshek and, and uh, Gregerson in the bullpen are going to be a big difference. Good day for Austin Jackson. Home run, walk, and run scored. City still going after Brett Laurie from the hard slide from Friday night. They went after him yesterday. Ventura got thrown out, and then Laurie got thrown out of the game today, I'm told. As Ricky Weeks works a full count. Somebody knock him down again. Probably wasn't happy about it. Figured it was over yesterday. There's a bouncing ball to Andrus. Quick flip to get Jackson. That's so that the story goes that they threw at Laurie and the pitcher got thrown. There we go. Oh, okay. Pitcher was subsequently ejected. Two outs in a fourth. Brings up Ricky Weeks. Popped the second fly to center. Ricky. I understand it was Kelvin Herrera today that threw at him. So you have a couple of guys, both of them can throw a hundred. One on one. Thirty one thousand six oh six on hand. Another good crowd. In tight for ball two. One. Two balls, two strikes. Going for the kick save. Odor can't make the play. Base hit for Ricky Weeks. 31,000 today, 43 last night, 36 and change on Friday. Here's Lloyd McClendon's thoughts on all these big crowds. Well, it helps quite a bit. We're very inspired. We're very knowledgeable, very intelligent fans. They want to get, see good baseball, and I think we try to provide that for the most part. But uh, when this pack like it's been the last two or three days, I mean, it really, really gives these guys a lift. Uh, in that locker room and out there on the field and it's nice to see. Keep coming out folks. It does make a difference. There's Cano. One for two. Looks at ball one. They got a one out single in the third on a three two pitch single to right and then Cruz followed with a three run homer. The thing that you should be excited about is even in a game like today where Paxton doesn't have it, he gets run out of the game early. The middle of this lineup, you have an opportunity to get back in some games. And I think we're going to see that over the course of the summer. And as these guys settle in more and more, get towards the end of the month, I think you're going to see some runs being scored consistently. Crew is certainly doing his part. He's off to a great start. He's not only hitting home runs, but he's hitting for a good average. He's doing everything he possibly can do. This three four combo with Seeger in the five hole is a chance to be one of the best trios in baseball. 2 1 to Cano. 2 and 2. Oh, with his one for two, is taking his batting average from 239 to 250. Cruz started the, the day at 333, and he's currently sitting at 364. Two and two. 
fouled off. Jeff Bannister in his first year, manager of the Texas Rangers. Long time in the Pittsburgh Pirate organization, and most recently, the last few years, it's the right hand man of manager Clint Hurdle. 2 2 pitch. So for these three games, open up this homestand. Total attendance of 111,224. Well, we thank you for your support. Two two to Cano. Throw down and weeks back safely. That was ball three. So a full count for Cano. Cruz on deck. And another good at bat for the Mariners. A number of at bats where they're making these pitchers work. This will be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Morrison had a base hit and he had a nine pitch at bat. Long look by Bass. He's ready. Weeks at first. He takes off. Pitch. Line drive. Center field. Base hit. Weeks will hold at second. Sets it up for Cruz with two men aboard. He is really starting to heat up. Take a look at it. Another line drive back up the middle. Pretty good pitch down on the outside corner at the knees. Mike Maddox going out for a few words with Bass. Mike consistent, always puts that hand on his shoulder, make the guy feel he? good, right? Yeah. Hey, we got this. You're okay. Not sure how good he feels with that man striding <laughs> to the plate. He's already homer twice. That's it. He's only homer twice. Good to see you. How are you? <laughs> I'll see if they try to pitch him away. His last time up, it was a fastball. A good one right on the inside corner, and he was able to turn it around, get the barrel to it. Well, we saw in L.A. two home runs opposite field, one that got around the foul pole and another one to the over the right center field that fence. Well, Martin, the center fielder shading towards left center. Two for two, four RBI day for Nelson Cruz, hitting streak at eight games. Got eight homers. He's run his RBI total total to 13. The crowd now reacting on every swing <laughs> that he takes. Well, that was a good breaking ball away from him. One pitch. The Mariners this afternoon, one for four with runners in scoring position. That one hit the home run by Cruz. Take that one for four as opposed to last night's one for 11. One one pitch. Shoot it down to Chris Woodward, the first base coach. Ball and two strikes. Dare work middle in or does he stay away? Oh, I think he's going to stay away. That was another breaking ball. Wouldn't be surprised if it's another breaking ball or even a split in the dirt. A one two pitch, two out, two on. And went away and struck him out. Aaron is strand two, trail seven five.
This here at Safeco Field and Root Sports, Dave Sims, Mike Flowers and Root Sports crew. Entertaining ball game, that's for sure. 7 5 as we start the fifth inning. Jake Smolinski, Carlos Corcoran, and Leonis Martin, 8 9 and 1 against Tyler Olson, who's on in relief of James Paxton, who got roughed up today. Two and, a, two, and two thirds, nine hits, seven runs. I fly ball left field settling under Ruggiano fighting the sun makes the catch here's Andy Mente. guys thanks so much it's great to see so much support for the Mariners and not just the big league variety but also the little leaguers from Forest Crest Park MTYAA Mariners are rooting for the MLB Mariners win the series I like it Andy uh, also we've got this one from Laurel Montana using the hashtag where I root on social media this is my favorite one right there guys overlooking Magnolia adult beverages a bucket of ice and a television what more do you need my friend they get it dialed up just right all right Angie thank you one and oh to Carlos Corcoran who's got a strikeout looking and a ground rule double Two. Corbin, the backup catcher, getting a chance to play here today. One and two. Pitch from Olsen. Breaking ball misses. Interesting to see how far Lloyd goes with Olsen. Olsen had been a starter in the minor leagues. I think one of the reasons he made the club, not just having a great spring training. He's going to fight the sun a little bit here, but Kyle will be able to handle it. Two outs. But also to give them some innings in games like this. Sure. They, they were just able to get their bullpen healthy and I think Lloyd wants to keep it that way, so we'll see how far he goes with Olsen. Tyler came on to get the final out of the third inning. That's when the Rangers went for seven runs on seven hits. Eleven men came to the plate. Since coming on, he struck out two, one looking, one swinging, hit a batter, walked a batter. Now he's ahead with two outs. And Olsen, ball comes right back to him. And he just nips Lynn East Martin. And a on his way on. When we come back, Kyle Seeger, Justin Ruggiano, and Willie Bloomquist coming your way here at Safe Go Field.
brought to you by Volkswagen. Hurry in and get a deal during the Volkswagen Stop Dreaming Start Driving event. By Silver Reef Hotel Casino Spa, I-5, exit 260, Ferndale, Washington. And by Audi, Truth in Engineering. As you look north at 4th and Pine. And downtown Seattle. Here's Kyle Seeger, followed by Ruggiano and Bloomquist. Kyle one for two today. Third inning single to center. Looks like we're going to have a hitter for Ruggiano. Dustin Ackley is going to walk out on deck. Really is nice for Lloyd against the Rangers. They do not have a left hander in their bullpen, so he can switch the lineup up when he wants to. And it looks like he's not going to wait around. Ackley getting back into the ball game. Ruggiano got a hit today. He's one out of two. Three called. Seager didn't like that one. Back to back case for Anthony Bass, his third since coming on. Who are the four players who best represent the history of the Seattle Mariners and the other 29 franchises? And who are the four greatest living Major League Baseball players? Go to MLB.com slash franchise four to cast your ballots. Winners will be revealed during the All-Star Game July 14th on Fox. Dustin Ackley, pinch hitting for Ruggiano. Off the fist, fouled away. Oh, and two. Certainly the new Dustin Ackley. He's aggressive, isn't he? I don't like it. Oh, and two. Last one and one in 21 games, a 6-3-3 ERA for Houston last year. Outside, one and two. Bass did some relieving with San Diego in 11 and a lot of starts, 15 starts the next year. So they checked down the third, did not go, says Adam Amari. So Ackley's got the count of two and two. Does a good job of laying off of this split. It's down out of the strike zone, and after a number of fastballs that he's fouled off, that's tough to do. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Another long hit bat. Seven pitches so far in this hit bat for Dustin. Full count. Ackley's worked the full count. Bounces this one. Fair ball. Rosales to Bass. Beats him by a step to away. <laughs> Willie Blomquist 0 for 2. Getting started shortstop today. Well, his second start this season at shortstop. And a start at first base as well. Peltre playing even with the bag at third, trying to take the bunt away from Willie. It by him for a base hit. Willie gonna slam on the brakes. 
Of a good hard turn around the first. I think that's what Lloyd McClendon was hoping for. Get a runner on, and now you have Logan Morrison coming up. You take a look at the swing by Willie. Hits it sharply past Beltre at third, who was playing in. Logan one for two. And a base hit to left. Third hit of the season for Willie. Now three for ten. Huge gap in right center field. Willie's speed, he can score. Logan can hit a ball out there. Yeah, some of the biggest ball base hits he hit last year were the right center field gap. Big home run down in Anaheim. And a gapper here that scored Seeger in that last series against the Angels. Lead by Blumquist. Nice diving play. Odor throws out Morrison and Lomo robbed again. No runs, a hit, no errors, and a man left. To the sixth we go. Mariners down by two. Cast is even better for tomorrow as we take a look at the Mariners calendar brought to you by Sleep Country USA. The Houston Astros coming to town. Weather's supposed to be around 70 degrees tomorrow, and that we will welcome with open arms. Three with Houston, and then three more with Minnesota to wrap up this homestand. Andrew shows bunt takes a strike. Andrews field uh, fielder and Beltre here in the sixth Dustin Ackley taking over in left field. Oh and two Tyler Olson came on to get the final out of the third inning. No runs and no hits is through the fourth and fifth. Tyler now at 33 pitches, and we're going to get some action out in the pen. So it's Carson Smith getting loose. Breaking ball down the line. Fair ball. Andrews, a good runner. Easily gets a second with his second double of the season. Low breaking ball able to keep his hands back just long enough and serve it down into the left field corner.
Seven runs on ten hits for Texas. Five runs on two hits and two errors for the Mariners. We have Prince Fielder two for three with an RBI and a run scored. Took a breaking ball for a called third strike last time up. It's an interesting at bat here. Be his second time. Against Olson. Similar pitch and he struck him out on. Well, the last pitch, he started adding. And he this, gave up on it. Yeah, and this one he's able to get to the outside corner. And he took a lot off of it, only 74 miles an hour. Down we talked about with Tyler changing arm angles, changing speeds. And a weak wave by Fielder at that breaking ball. Oh and two. Him again with that breaking ball. Sucre holds on to the foul tip. Three pitches dismissing Prince Fielder. And for Tyler Olson, his third strikeout. All breaking balls off the plate away. And another weak swing by Fielder. And they're going to put Beltre on. Left hand hitting Chu waiting on deck. Second one issued by Tyler Olson. Both times to Beltre. First one was back in the fourth and a 3 2 pitch. The Bannister worked for many years as minor league field. Coordinator with the Pirate Organization with, and then was on the staff when Lloyd McClendon was skipper of the Pirates. And Trent Jewett was also theirs. One thing you have to do, get your picture taken with the Hall of Famer. Out in the right field concourse. Olsen set. One out, two on. And a breaking ball hitting the right center field. Coming around to score easily is Anderson digging for third. It's going to be Beltre. And an RBI single by Shin Su Chu on the first pitch here that he sees. And the Rangers lead is now 8 5. Well, Chu was paying attention and watching fielders at bat. This is a breaking ball. He's able to get it to the outside corner. This one he leaves up just a little bit. You look at our Alaska Supermo and the swing by Chu times it perfectly and it's a solid line drive back up the middle and that'll bring out Lloyd McClendon it's going to get Carson Smith. Pitching change here in the sixth. Now he's down by three.
And, oh, goodness gracious. It's near the Market Theater, and this is one of the germiest places you're ever going to be. 15 feet high, several inches thick. People always come here and want to take a photo. Well, maybe when you do, use the hashtag where I root and then send it to us. Uh, we got this picture from Colby today, day trip from Walla Walla to Seattle for the game. Go Mariners. And uh, how are you spending your Sunday in Pullman, Washington? Bailey sent us this one, hashtag graduating. So I guess I want to say congratulations. Uh, but perhaps my favorite today, Alex sends this one in. This is Anne, Anne and her grandpa, Ted, rooting for the Mariners today. Grandpa is a World War II veteran, B-17 tail gunner. Uh, again, it is salute to Armed Forces Day here at Safeco Fields. Guys, uh, we'll right, Angie. upstairs to you. Wow, good stuff. B-17 tailgate gunner. Our salute to all the veterans. As Carson Smith takes over. He has pitched well. Five innings, seven strikeouts for Smith. There's Mitch Moreland pinch hitting. Left hand hit it with pop. He'll stay on at first base. Pinch hitting for Rosales, who finished one for three with an RBI. Carson with a good fastball in the mid 90s and a slider. Big by Sucre. One on one. Marlon was on deck a few days ago and swinging that weighted bat to get ready and tweaked his elbow, so he sat out the last couple of days. There's a one one. Good slider from Smith trying to throw it to the back foot of Moreland was able to get it there and get him to swing over the top of it. There's pinch hitting duties for Moreland on the season. Chop foul. Trade third to get Chew at first and a one two count to Mitch Moreland. <laughs> Up the middle, base hit. Let's score another run. Chew gets the third. Moreland with the RBI, his sixth. Well, I think he tried to throw the slider to the back foot again. You can see Sucre set up, trying to get as low as he possibly can. But this one, he leaves up a little bit, just above the knees, and Moreland hits it hard back up the middle. I have the Rangers six for twelve with runners in scoring position this afternoon. That's outstanding. Rugnet Odor, 0 for 3, reached on a error, reached on a fielder's choice and scored and grounded out the first. Strike one. Six men to the plate here in the sixth inning for Texas. See their season average at 224. They've really helped that out the way they've swung the bats this afternoon. Chopper. Cano will get the out at first. Another run scores. RBI for Odor. Scoring on the play is Chu. Moreland, he goes to second. So an RBI for Odor, his fifth. It's two away. 10 5 game.
couple of big innings for the Rangers. Seven runs in the third, and now three runs as they work here in the sixth. Smolinski having a good day. Two for three with a home run. A couple of RBIs. Home run is fourth of his career. Big 12 hits today. Building up to 10 runs. Oh, and two. That's Mitch Moreland at second. Smith ahead, oh, and two. Good play by Sucre. Carson Smith trying to throw that slider as hard as he possibly could ended up in the other batter's box. Take a look at the work by Sucre. Two balls, two strikes now to Smolinski. Dominic Leone getting loose. Two two pitch. Foul back. Carson Smith making this club out of spring training. Gotta put an end to the sixth inning for the Rangers. Bloomquist has to hurry. And he gets Smolinski. Three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. Texas has extended its lead to 10 to 5. Brought to you by Money Tree. Proud to make a donation to Mariners Care for every Mariners win. By CenturyLink, your link to what's next. By Jack in the Box, Jack's hottest sandwich is back. Head to Jack in the Box for Jack's blazing chicken sandwich. And by Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Looking skyward from Harbor Steps on First Avenue. Anthony Bass continues. He entered the game with one out in the third inning. And has held the Mariners scoreless. Sucre leads off, followed by Austin Jackson and Ricky Weeks. 
Allison heating up. And oh. Beltray takes care of that one. Smash off the bat of Sucre. One out. Well, Bass has been able to do it with a good fastball and a split. And this split he leaves up in the zone 82 miles an hour. Sucre hits it hard, but unfortunately it is right at Adrian Beltre. Four-time gold glove winner twice here with the Mariners. Here's Austin Jackson. Strike one. Run off the Mariners first with a home run, 11th time in his career. He's had a leadoff homer. Since then, a walk and run scored. And a ground out to short. And a strike. It's off the plate, that's what I thought. Bill Miller called it a strike 0 2. Gets off the glove of Andrews. You can see the catcher Corcoran really wanted that ball inside. And he bounces it in the left field for a base hit. Second hit for Jackson. Well, it looks as if he gets it there. He set up right under the hands of Jackson. Right on the inside corner. You can see it on our EQC tracer. And right off the end of the glove of Andrews, even if he filled it cleanly with Jackson's speed, that would have been a base hit. So Jackson having a good afternoon. Two for three now, including the home run has scored a couple of runs. He wakes infield hit. Last time up one for three. That base hit by Jackson, the 11th Mariner hit. Ricky can find a way out and you get right back to the middle of the lineup again. Now with a couple of hits, Cruz is homer twice. Gobbled up by Belt Traders. One, Odor. There's two. Round the horn. Well done by Belt Trade. Odor and Moreland. Mariners are shut down in the sixth. They trail 10-5. Texas Rangers leave town. We welcome in the Houston Astros. Of course, we still hope to win this series against the Texas Rangers. Here's what's next, though. Asher Wojciechowski against Hisashi Iwakuma. Both those guys trying to get their first win of the season. Colin McHugh versus Taiwan. And then a finale on Wednesday, Roberto Fernandez versus Jay Happ. So three primetime games for y'all coming up. Guys, back upstairs to you. All right. Say those two names of those starters fast several <laughs> times. Good luck. New pitcher for the Mariners is going to be Dominic Leone. He'll be the fourth hurler today. And the numbers for Dominic this year three and two thirds. Not a strikeout yet. He's walked three batters. Opponents hitting just 154 against him. Good fastball. He'll be in the low to mid 90s with a hard slider. He will get 9 1 2 for the Rangers. Corcoran going to lead off the catcher. And back at the top of the lineup, Martin and Andrews do up. 
Big sixth inning for the Rangers. Seven men to the plate, three runs on three hits. They had a huge third with 11 men to the plate, seven runs on seven hits. Corporate today, strikeout looking, ground rule double, bouncing into the lower right field stance. And fouled out to Seeger. Foul. Tuesday during the Astros Mariners game for Twitter Tuesday. You're going to have five, count them, five chances to win exciting prizes just by interacting with us on Twitter throughout the game. We're going to be posting questions and we want to hear from you, so be sure to watch and follow us on Twitter at RootSports underscore NW. Giveaway rules, visit RootSports.com. Martin fouls one in the suit craze glove. Oh man, that's a Marine. That's in uniform too. They probably <laughs> didn't get a chance to warm up. That's darn good. 9-10. Case of beer on the line! <laughs> <laughs> that's impressive. Too exhausted. Good stuff. He is not going to quit. Correct. They full uniform. I'd say exactly. What are we up to? 13? Atta baby. United States Marines. Salute to Armed Forces Day here at Safeco Field in Seattle. It's home seventh. Well, I've got Bush America for you. We'll stay right here so you can enjoy that. Coast Guard in the house. Five branches represented here today. So a lot of VFW guys in their white T-shirts, American Legion folks. I'm gonna get outside. Two balls, two strikes. The Leonis Martin. He's driven in a run. Two hits today. Good center field. Good arm. Can really run. Not as sharp as he was last year at this time. No, he hasn't been. He had a tough spring training and a lot of full counts, a lot of pitches to get through the batters. He has good stuff. It's fastball anywhere from 92 to 94 miles an hour. Right to Blomquist. Throw to first to get Kerper no. Close play at first, a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Willie 
getting up off the ground quickly and made a strong throw over to first base. One out, one on. First base umpires Adrian Johnson. Elvis Andrews scored twice today, double to left his last time up. Yeah. On one. Sean Tollison continues to throw in the Rangers bullpen. Cruz is right there. Two outs. Two away, and here's Fielder. Olsen struck him out looking and swinging. Earlier, he picked up an infield hit in the first inning. RBI single to right in the third. Texas team. You Darvish done for the year. Matt Harrison questionable if he'll ever if he'll come back. Derek Holland out till sometime later in the summer. Martin Perez coming back from Tommy John surgery at best in July. Jerkson Profar, their outstanding young infielder, he's out. Ryan Rua, an outfielder in Antoine Richardson. They've got a stacked disabled list. One one, two out, seventh inning. That'll be a couple of years in a row for them. What was the number last year? Sixty-four guys they used. Well, three and one, the fielder. They're just joining us, a seven-run third for. The Rangers this after the Mariners got home runs from Jackson and Cruz to take a first inning lead of two nothing. Mariners come back with three in the bottom of the third and then three more top six for the Rangers. Hit the left field. There's Ackley. And that will do it. Salute to Armed Forces Day here at Safe Gold Field in front of a crowd of 31,601. There right now. Everybody's going to rise here at the ballpark. The version for singing of God Bless America. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask you now to please rise and join us in honoring our great country with the singing of God Bless America. Please welcome from the United States Air Force Staff Sergeant Ben Taylor. God bless America. From above, from the mountains to the prairies, to the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God. Oh. 
In your mind as you consider how a Washington's lottery win would change your bucket list. Play today. Take you over to First and University, Seattle Art Museum. Cameron Man getting some work done. Beautiful sunshine here in Seattle this Sunday, the first Sunday home game of the season for the Mariners. They've got work to do with time running short. 10 5, Ranger lead. Dick Sims, Mike Flowers, Root Sports Crew on hand here. Mariners will set up 3 4 5 in the order. Robinson Cano, Nelson Cruz, and Kyle Seeger. It's been a good day for Robbie. It'll face Sean Tollison. And for Tollison this year, five innings that he has pitched, six strikeouts, hasn't walked anybody. Pitched well out of the bullpen. Tollison pitched in Friday's game, scoreless inning, struck out two. Seventh. That's his fifth double of the season. A three for four day for Robbie Cano. Seems that he's put that over 13 in Oakland far behind him. We talked about it when he was in Oakland hitting the ball hard and could not get a base hit, but kind of a neat look right there as the shadow comes through and driving this ball into the gap in the right center field. Brings up Nelson Cruz. Solo homer in the first, three run shot in the third, and a strikeout on a one two pitch in the fourth. Challenged him. On one. A little bit late on that fastball. Right at the top of the strike zone. Cano, the 12th hit for the Mariners, matching the total of the Rangers. Almost hitting. One 
one one. It's inside and missed. Cano comes off that all for 13 weekend in Oakland. Turns around a week later, goes six for 12 here in the homestand in these first three games. Two and two. Collins well, unfortunate to get that pitch back. It was a breaking ball slider on the outside corner. But he left it up a little bit about felt high. And an aggressive swing from Cruz. He fouled it off. Two home runs for Cruz today. Extended his hitting streak to eight games. Cano with his three hits has extended his hitting streak to six. Pitch. Two two again. Right off and struck him out. Strike after Tollison, one out, one on. Receive all star treatment when you take in a game from the all star club presented by EQC. This exclusive club, it's located on a suite level here at Safeco Field, and it offers a first class experience and a fantastic view. Ticket includes a premium buffet and free VIP parking. So get your tickets and more. They're available right now at Mariners.com slash premium. There's a look at it right there. Kyle Seeger one for three struck out looking last time up. Second to lead off double. Strike to Seeger one on one. Didn't call that one last game. Seeger steps out. Now he's ready. Hit. That'll score Cano. And we got a 10-6 ball game. Base hit for Seeger is second. Today picks up an RBI, his sixth. Take a look at this base hit, and you look at the middle of the lineup for the Mariners today. Seven for 12. That'll work. That does work. Five runs batted in. Here's Ackley for the second time. Center field hit it well. Martin had it all the way. Two outs. Brad Miller is going to pinch hit for Willie Blumquist. Stay on shortstop. Smith and Zanino still on the bench for Lloyd. Brad having a good series, three for six. on deck. One out of Brad. Rangers defense plays straight up. Brad hitting.
Brad with an RBI triple going two for four last night on one pitch. Well, it's one and two. Tollison in his second year coming over from the rain, uh, from the uh, Dodgers waiver claim in November of 2013. Two to Brad Miller. Struck him out. Pretty good heat. Mariners get a run on the RBI single by Seeger, and they leave a man stranded. 10-6 ball game. Rangers on top. No, before the contest, they have a contest, pop fly with a catch. And this is where an adult will try to catch a pop fly with like a traffic cone or an umbrella. We sort of had one of those inside the game. It's our big fish casino, big catch. And Nelson Cruz, it's the first of two home runs today so far. Look at that. Jason Phillips, the bullpen catcher, makes the grab with his hat. You think he's a bullpen catcher, he'd have his glove on, but it was only the first inning, so he's not warming up anybody. Look at the bullpen guys out there going nuts. For Jason Phillips, I have to admit, I have never tried to catch a baseball with anything else besides a glove, Mike Flowers. I imagine it can't be all that easy. It, it can't be, and it was impressive because if you think about it, Cruz hit that ball about 380 feet on a line, and Jason was walking down the ramp, <laughs> happened to look up, got off immediately. Incoming. <laughs> and, but the smart thing that he did is he used two hands on the bill of the cap. It would have been <laughs> difficult to hold on to it with just one, so a good catch for Jason. I think he's a veteran of a lot of Easter egg catches. It's good work. There he goes. Great reaction by the guys in the pen. Oh, I love that. 2 1 to Beltre. Beltre today. An infield hit. One for two. Two runs scored. He's walked twice. Leon came on. Pits the seventh. Walked the first man. And got a line out of fly out and pop it. It will not come back to Sucre, that third row. Balls, two strikes. Beltre leading off here in the eighth. High fly ball left field. Shielding the sun. It's Dustin Ackley. Makes a catch. 
One out. Time now for our Geico this date in MLB history. April 19th, 1890. 125 years ago today, the Brooklyn Bridegrooms later became the Trolley Dodgers and then it became the Dodgers. They played their first National League game. They lost to the Boston Bean Eaters. And later became the Braves. And thank goodness for change, huh? <laughs> Kind of hard to get a cheer. Let's go, you bean eaters. Not like they earned you a right cross. <laughs> they didn't like the bright grooms? No. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I'm certainly not the minority. My goodness. <laughs> Different sensibilities. Tanner Shepard's getting loose, hard throwing right hand for the Rangers. Ten six ball game. Chu delivered an RBI single center field against Tyler Olson in his last at bat. That was in the sixth. Leon's got him one and two here. Command of his breaking ball is not what it was last year, right? It has been or his fastball. And it, and it looks as he has a lot of movement on his fastball this year, and it's having a tough time getting it on the edges of the plate. 2 2. There's a three. There's a paint job, two away. Take a look at high fastball in the outside corner. Bill Miller with the ring up. What's our first Tom Hallian chainsaw day? Always look forward to Tom. <laughs> you get that on, get that on your ring too. <laughs> you, have, you have to see it too, though. You know, it is, it's great. You have to see it. Chiropractor must uh, must be rich off the of top after all these years. No kidding. Orland pinch hit RBI single in the sixth. Sight out there in left field. Sun a little bit better, not as bad as it was, say, an hour or so ago. A couple hours ago now, coming up on 4 o'clock Pacific. 1 2. All two strikes. Two out, nobody on here in the eighth. Mariners will have eight, nine, and one coming up. My own Connecticut born and raised now lives in South Carolina. Two two pitch. The left center field and carrying back on the track, reaching up, making a catch is Jackson for the third out here in the eighth. When we return, Logan Morrison, Jesus Sucre, and Austin Jackson coming up.
great weekend in Seattle. Mariners fans coming out in force, 111,000 plus over the last three days. And today, salute to Armed Forces Day on military hardware on display for the youngsters to check out. Personnel carrier, young Felix fan, pretty much in awe, and I understand as it checks out what that's all about. Meanwhile, out in the pen, the sound of cha-ching every day at 4.30 on Friday and Saturday, and then earlier today, doing a lot of great business out there. Mariners trying to, or need to rally here. Down 10-6, bottom eight. Tanner Shepherds takes over. And delivers ball one to Logan Morrison. I'd like to see him score a couple of runs right here and make the ninth inning interesting. Shepard's a good fastball. He will be in the mid 90s. Seth Smith has come out on deck. He will pinch it for Sucre. If you look at the numbers for Shepherds, it's pitched an inning so far. Two zero, three and up. Dina eating up. Four pitch walk. That helps. So Seth Smith, he'll pinch hit for Sucre. And a reminder, get ready to wear the bear. Kuma means bear in Japanese, so we're going to hold the first ever Hisashi Iwakuma Bearhead Night here at Safe Gold Field next Saturday against the Twins at his ferry and ferocious, and more importantly, it's free. For the first 20,000 fans, visit Mariners.com for tickets to Bearhead Night. Seth Smith to pinch hit. Strike one. Lloyd right now just trying to get a couple of guys on base. Work their way back to the middle of the lineup. The middle of the lineup's had a good day. That is really strong career pinch hitting a 310 batting average, seven home runs. That's strong. 0 for four and two strikeouts against Tollison. That's what Seth Smith has done. Against Shepard. Standing for the Mariners, they get home runs from Jackson and Cruz. And Texas explodes for seven runs in the third. Mariners get three right back. Then Texas gets three more in the sixth. Way upstairs, three and one. Mariners got another run in the seventh. RBI single by Kyle Seeger. That's how we get to this point here at 10 6. And Shepard so far, eight pitches, just one strike. He won to Seth Smith. And he takes ball four. All right. First two men free passes. Now you get to Austin Jackson. He's got a homer and a single. Two for three. And Keela, who we saw last night, young man from West Seattle, heating up. And this is where it started for the Mariners. One, two count. Let's look at Austin Jackson. And he gets a curveball that's in the middle of the plate. About knee high. Takes it out into the Ranger bullpen for his first home run of the year. First homer for Jackson. He's had a good day. Two for three with a home run and scored a couple of runs. First homer since last July when he was still with the Tigers. And homer at Arizona. The way this is setting up, first two men walk. Shepherds throws one strike to the first two hitters. Now back to the top of the order. Ball one. 
Hoffman. Ten pitches, one strike for Shepherds. Shepherds pitched. Scoreless inning. Check that two hits and one run on Friday night's game, and he just cannot find it. Three-one win by Texas Friday night. Shepherds an inning, two hits, one run. Give up a sack fly to Seth Smith. Jackson ahead two and zero. Oh. Right down the middle, two and one. Two men on. Jackson. Right field. Slicing out a play. Shoe giving it a run. And center field shading towards right center. Here's the 2 2 pitch. Almost hit him. Runners hold. Count runs full. I'm not sure how he missed him. This is a bad breaking ball. Just slips out of his hand. And Austin Jackson, last second, ducks. Hmm. Great job getting his bat down. So many times you see the hitter try to get out of the way, but the bat will stay up and they'll end up fouling it off. But he's able to bring it down just enough. Big pitch at three and two. Strike three called. Oh, he thought that pitch was up. This is a fastball, 93 miles an hour. Mariners now two for eight with runners in scoring position on the day. Opportunities for the Rangers. Six for 14 on Ouch. the day. Yeah. Ricky Weeks, one for four with a fourth inning infield hit. All one. Walks the first two men, gets a strikeout looking now one out of weeks. On the corner for strike one one. Is Adrian Johnson two and one? Well, there's Medina. He'll be the next Mariner pitcher. Fifth of the afternoon. Two one to Weeks. That's playable. Marlin coming over. Just missed it. Catch a break. Wind pushed it. I think you're right. The wind helped him out. And Moreland, knowing that the railing is coming up soon, puts his hand out trying to find it. Another opportunity for Ricky. Robinson Cano on deck. Three for four day for him. Scored twice. Weeks has got a 2 2 pitch coming. One out, runners at first and second. Mariners down by four. Pitch. Wow, what a take. Three and two. Closer, Feliz getting loose. St. Kila up. No, it's Feliz. Feliz has never given up an earned run against the Mariners. That's Kila. 
four hitters, and he's run a three-ball count to each one of them, Tanner Shepherds. Three and two to Ricky Weeks. Up high, ball four. It's going to bring the tying run to the plate. Bases are loaded, one out. Robinson Cano. Three straight hits, three for four on the day. Bannister will come out. Looks like he's going to make a pitching change. We're going to bring in a West Seattle. The extra Keela to face Robinson Cano with the bases loaded. Rangers with a 10 6 lead. Sports is looking for the ultimate Northwest fan in the state of Washington throughout the month of April. Send us a photo and story using hashtag ultimate NW fan WA on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or by email at ultimate fan at lootsports.com. And you can win a VIP trip for two to Seattle in October, a personalized jersey, and more. For official rules, visit rootsports.com. First at bat with the bases loaded for Robinson Cano. Fiona Kella. Is the new pitcher. Bases loaded with Morrison at third, Smith at second, and Ricky Weeks at first. Mariners down four. Keller with a good fastball. We saw that. He was 95, 96 miles an hour. And here we go. First pitch to Cano. In there for a strike. Keller pitched an inning last night. Gave up a hit, struck out two. Marson Smith and Weeks, the runners with one out. Fastball at 94 outside. I think the Mariners would really like to take advantage of this situation. You have the base is loaded, but more important than that, they're probably going to have to hit in the shadows. The shadows starting to creep out over home plate, makes it more difficult. You know, in his last three at bats, single, single, double. One, one pitch. Takes outside. Two balls, one strike. Now I have a chief South High School. Round pick back in the 2012 draft. Two and one to Cano. Bases loaded. One out. Fouls it off. Two and two. Cal born in LA, raised in West Seattle. 
turned 22 years old three days ago. 2 2 pitch to Cano. Outside. Nowhere to put him. Got to throw a strike. Nelson Cruz on deck. He's homered twice and struck out twice. But the Mariners got a stage a big comeback here late in this ball game. Crowd of 31,601. Now time clock. Cano, three consecutive hits. He's got a 3 2 pitch. Walked in! And that'll bring Cruz to the plate with a bases loaded RBI for Cano. His fourth of the season. It's a 10 7 ball game. Cruz got off to a wonderful start. First inning. Check this out. It's a change up out into the bullpen. Jason Phillips with the catch in his hat. Bullpen catcher. And then a fastball in the inside corner. Towering home run. It'll bounce off the shed out in the Rangers bullpen. The Mariners taking advantage of four walks here in the eighth inning. Make them count. Well, he's going to bring in the always tough. A guy who's never given up an earned run against the Mariners. They're closing to Tali Feliz. This will be fun against Nelson Cruz. with a solo blast in the first a three run shot in the third and he's going to be facing his ex teammate Natalie Feliz and Feliz's numbers at some point might have got the change right 27 shutout innings over 22 games against the Mariners 12 for 12 in save situations well you would certainly think so as you look at his numbers four and two thirds he has four strikeouts a couple of walks opponents hitting 211 he has given up one home run and never faced each other Cruz represents the go ahead run. Bases loaded. One out. Bottom eight and a run in. Strike one from Feliz. Started him off with a breaking ball. We saw him in the first game of the series. And for Feliz, his fastball velocity was down a little bit. He was around 92 93. Here's the 0 1 to Cruz. The swing, pitch in the dirt. One and one. Two sliders to Cruz, and you can see he's now in the shadows. Cruz, the sixth man to the plate here in the eighth inning. And he's taking advantage of four walks here in this frame. Here's the one one. Straight back. 
Ball and two strikes. And that was a good fastball. 96 miles an hour right in on his hands after a couple of sliders. One out, bases loaded. Mariners down 10 7. Feliz ready. Pitch. Out back up this way. That was a mistake by police. Went back to the slider and left it in the middle of the plate. Tried to go off the plate away. Police just ridiculous numbers career against the Mariners. Here we go, one and two. Up high, two balls, two strikes. The save Friday, a one, two, three, ninth. 27 shutout innings over 22 games, including one start in his career against the Mariners and 12 for 12 and save opportunities. Cruz can change that right here. The 2 2 pitch from Feliz struck him out. Two down here in the eighth. Leave it up to Kyle Seeger, who's had a good day himself, two for four. Rodney has started to play catch out in the Mariner bullpen as you take a look at the swing. Swings right underneath that fastball. Medina and Rodney heating up. Kyle Seeger one for nine against Feliz. Two outs, bases loaded. Strike one. Kyle and RBI single to center back in the seventh inning. Single to center in the third. He's also grounded out the first and struck out looking. Mariners down three. Bases loaded. Pitch. Out back. Third pitcher this inning for the Rangers. Shepard, Keller, and now Feliz. 0 oh 2 to Seeger. Almost hit him. A fine block by Corbin. 1 and 2. Thrown all three of his pitches to Kyle. Started him with a change in for a strike, a good fastball, and then the slider. See how close this comes to hitting Kyle in the foot. Oh, just missed him. One ball, two strikes, two outs, bases loaded, 10 7. Rangers, bottom of the eighth here in Seattle. The 1 2 to Seeger. Outside for ball two. Justin Ackley waiting on deck. Teams have combined for 17 runs and 25 hits and two errors. Long look by Felice. Seeger gets time. Two outs. Bases loaded in a 2 2 count. Felice set and the pitch. Ball three. That was his best fastball. 97 miles an hour from Feliz. Nowhere to put him. Half that house of 31,606 in sunshine. Seeger in shape. Trying to brighten things up right here. 3 2 pitch from Feliz. Runners take off. Base hit.
for the all-star third baseman. This is such a good at-bat. He saw everything from Feliz, was able to get the count back to full, get to fastball. He can handle 96 miles an hour on the outer half of the plate and lines it into right center field. First time the Mariners have scored against Naftali Feliz. Making his way to third was Cano. But Cano represents, and he is, the tying run. Seeger the go-ahead run. The hitter, Dustin Ackley. He's 0 for 6 against Feliz. Looking for a big knock. Ball one. Four walks in the inning for the Mariners. Three of them have scored. Mariners three for ten with runners in scoring position as Rodney continues to throw with Medina out in the pen. A 1 0. Ackley. Fly ball left field. Smolinski's there. Mariners pick up three. Got to keep it here at 10 9 as they finally score a runoff in the Pali Police. Game is and one run separates the Rangers and the Mariners as we head to the ninth inning. Hey, make sure you tune in every Sunday for a new episode of Mariners All Access. Debuting this week, uh, a feature on Nelson Cruz. We're going to profile uh, the Mariners prospect Marte. And we go, uh, technically speaking, with Dominic Leone. He tells us his favorite pitch to throw. If you missed today's episode, tune in for a re-air at 4.30 Pacific your local programming schedule all you have to do is visit rootsports.com all right guys back upstairs things not getting easier for hitters on either side with those shadows oh that's for sure medina's going to take over and he's looking to go one two three against the bottom third of the order of the rangers mike zanito takes over behind the plate Pitch from Medina. Ball one. Odor, Smolinski, and Corporal. Get foul. It's like the old Rock'em Sock'em <laughs> robots, right? It really this is. This game? 
Mariners two home runs in the first inning looking good then give up a seventh spot they come back for three Rangers get three in the sixth Mariners nibble away get one in the seventh and three in the eighth. Mariners Rockies 1997. Oh, I'm told, those are some wild games right. They were. But this one is too. The thing I like about it is Mariners taking advantage of the four walks. Kyle Seager coming with the big base hit to get him within a run. This is going to be a tough time for the hitters as Angie was talking about with the shadows out there. Kyle was standing right in the middle of that but still able to line a ball in the right field to pick up a couple of RBIs. He's driven in three this afternoon. Both clubs just emptying out the bullpen. Two and two. Get up, Seth Smith taking over in left field. Make it swing. Trying to get the lead off. Hitter here in the ninth. Full count. Smolenski on deck. Right center field hanging out for Jackson. Pinch hit with Carlos Figueroa coming up. We'll hit for Smolenski. Smol Smolenski two for four today, including a home run. Drove in two runs. Good movement on this fastball today. The last fastball 94, but it ran right up to the outside corner. Go one pitch. There's a wrinkle in that one too. That good slider. To the foul tip. And Medina gets the first two men. And I'll bring up the catcher, Carlos Cook, for two outs here in the ninth. Mariners down a run. Good fastball in the outside corner, comes back with a slider, and here's another breaking ball. Side ball one. This has been a wild one. 10 9. Rubber match of this series. Texas by a run. Nobody left on the bench for Lloyd McClendon, so it will be Miller, Morrison, and Smith due up in the bottom of the ninth. Ball two. Today. 
Got a ground rule double back in the third. One for three with a walk on deck. And he's Martin. He's got two hits and a run batted in. Pitch. Walked it. <laughs> Two out walk. Get you back to the top of the order and Martin, Leonis Martin. Well, I would assume Kyle Seeger will have to at least play even with the bag at third, Martin. With a bunt base hit, tried to bunt his way on another time in this one. He's tried to bunt in every game of this series. And Kyle creeping in. Oh boy, Squibber down the line. Smith coming to get it. Corporate to third. He's there, a double by Martin. A broken bat squibbing li liner. Brother. Look at this. This job by Adam Hamari to get out of, out of the way. Now second and third. Nothing has been easy in this game. Has it no, been? no, no, no. That is correct. 340 pitches so far in this game. 177 by Texas, 163 by the Mariners. So two quick outs, and then Medina can't put away Corcoran and gives up a double now. Second and third, two outs. Strike one. Third, Martin at second. Dealing Medina dealing one and one. Going back is Jackson. He got plenty of room. Medina survives that inning. Here we go. Mariners down a run. Brad Miller, Logan Morrison, and Seth Smith coming up. Bottom nine.
And as we head into the bottom of the ninth, coming up on Mariners postgame, presented by Delta Airlines, we're going to take another look at the day that Nelson Cruz had at the plate. We'll hear from the skipper, and we're going to get you all set for the Astros. You know, on Salute to Armed Forces Day, we see some really interesting-looking rally caps out there. Guys, back to you. I'm trying to think about how they would do that. Salute to Armed Forces Day here at Safe Cove Field. Mariners postgame presented by Delta Airlines coming your way afterwards. Mariners down a run. Neftali Feliz. First pitch fouled back by Brad Miller. Good aggressive swing from Brad. Hits a fastball 94 miles an hour in the middle of the plate. Try to take advantage of it. Mariners trying to end this first Sunday home game on an up note. Off the glove of Odor. There's the start you're looking for here in the ninth. Base hit, Brad Miller. This ball is hit about as hard as you can hit it. Screaming line drive off the top of the glove of Odor. We look at the swing by Brad. He stays on his backside to get the barrel to it. Logan Morrison walked to lead off the eighth. Down low to Morrison. Homo with a second inning single extends his hitting streak to five games. Outfield deep for Texas. Good speed at first in Miller. Coming in is Martin. There to make the catch one out. Bring up Seth Smith. Pinch hit in the eighth for Sucre and walked and later scored. And Morrison coming around to score in that inning, as did Ricky Weeks. Lee's has converted his last 12 save opportunities dating back. August 3rd of last year at Cleveland. Ball one to Seth. One plate appearance previously against Felice. Seth. Yeah, he should get a good fastball to hit right here. Seth giving the Mariners only run Friday night with a sack fly in the eighth. 3 1 loss to the Rangers. He's got a 2 0 count here. That's a strike. Team back with a changeup. Surprising that he would throw the changeup. Maybe even more surprised that he was able to throw it for a strike. Two one to Smith. Oh, oh, did he take a rip at ninety six? Out over the plate. Take a little, little bit late on it. 96 miles an hour. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Two and two to Smith. Randers down a run. Lead off man aboard. Brad Miller. Rally caps the bound here at the ballpark. He's set. Here comes a 2 2 pitch. Out off again. Nice catch. Mezzanine level. 
Again, these are not easy at bats. Release is tough enough, but then you have the shadows out there, making it a little bit more difficult. There you can see it. Two and two. Counts run full. Austin Jackson's on deck. Belize now at 25 pitches. Only three outings of more than 25 pitches last season for Belize. Huge pitch here, three and two to Smith. 10-9 as Miller's back safely. The interesting part of this to me is a 2-0 count. He threw him a changeup. But Feliz's best pitch is his fastball, and now he's been able to work the count to full. We've seen him hit 96. Feliz ready. The pitch to Smith. Locked him! The winning runs aboard. And the tying run in scoring position now. Mariners were able to take advantage of four walks in the eighth inning. Three of them scoring as Seth takes his fastball 96 miles an hour just off the outside corner for ball four. Austin Jackson took a called third strike. Tanner Shepard's in the eighth. He's had a good day. Right off the Mariners home first with a home run. Walked and scored in the third. Browned out to short in the fourth. Single to left in the sixth. Brad Miller, good speed. Second base with the tying run. All one. I can't remember seeing police throw so many off speed pitches. A lot of breaking balls and changeups for him. I have not seen that over the years. Typically, he'll go right at you with his good fastball. 1 0 to Jackson. Strike called by Bill Miller. 1 and 1. Top end of the zone. One out. Tying run at second. Winning run at first. 1-1 one, one pitch here to Jackson. One outing with 30 plus pitches last year for Feliz. He went for 42. This next pitch will be 30. Ball of two strikes to Austin Jackson. Pitch from Feliz. Up high, two balls, two strikes. And yeah, the leadoff hit up there in Jackson. It's been three breaking balls, just the one fastball to him. Sunny blue sky, breezy day. 31,606 on hand. Mariners trying to mount a big comeback here. Two balls, two strikes to Austin Jackson. Pitch from Feliz. Fouled off. A lot of good battles today. The Mariners have had some long at bats. Most of them have paid off. Outfield deep. Center fielder Martin shading towards right center for Jackson. Police ready with the 2 2 pitch. Out back again. Police now with 18 pitches here in the inning. Just one out. A lot of fans standing here in the ballpark. 
A little less than half now covered in sunshine. Pitcher's going to be in the shade and shadows before long. There's a 2 2 again, Austin Jackson. Tying run at second. Perhaps another one foul. Eighth pitch of this at bat coming up. I think Lloyd McClendon will be thrilled with the effort of his guys today in the, in the at bats, the quality of the at bats that they've had. Let's do it again. 2 2 pitch. Breaking ball, right field. 2 can't get it. Miller being waved on. Here's the throw to third. We got a tie ball game. The winning run at third base, Seth Smith. Austin Jackson with a magnificent at bat. Tie ball game at 10 10. Well, you never know what to expect when you come to the ballpark, but a 10 10 tie as you work here in the bottom of the ninth. And what a great at bat by Jackson. Fouling off a number of pitches. Tough to see because of the shadows. Continues to fight and hits a line drive into right field. One of the big improvements we've seen from Austin from last year to this year. As you see Miller coming around to score. Miller getting things started with a solid line drive. Base hit into right field. And Feliz now with 34 pitches. Still just one out. His way out. It's could possibly soon be way out of his element. Well, you're right. And I, I think, again, I, I haven't seen him throw this many breaking balls off speed pitches. Runners at the corners, one out, score tied at 10. Ricky Weeks is the hitter with Cano on deck. Seth Smith, he's at third with the winning run. 10 runs, 16 hits, two hours for the Mariners. 10 runs, 13 hits, no errors for Texas. Rock'em, sock'em, rubber match here in the first meeting of the series between these two ball clubs. James Paxton off the hook now in this tied ball game. Ricky Weeks can be a hero. First pitch in there for a strike. Good fastball on the inside corner. Ranger outfielders playing shallow. Police ready with the 0 1 to Ricky Weeks. Up high. Taken second is Austin Jackson. May not seem like much, but the Rangers, they had the middle of their infield playing back for the double play. That is no longer in play. Jackson, second in difference, and now they're going to bring the infield up close. And I, I think they'll probably go on contact here if he puts the ball in play, because even if they get him at the plate, Jackson will move up to third. One out. Pitch. In tight two and one. You know, waiting on deck. Mariners four for twelve with runners in scoring position this afternoon. This Mariner club will not quit. Gave up a seven spot in the third inning. Came back and added three in the bottom half of that inning, and then chipped away the last part of this ball game. Two one pitch to Ricky. Fly ball, short center field. There's a great Our team. Arm. Makes the catch that Smith will hold as the ball comes into Corcoran, two away. It's just not deep enough, but we've already seen Martin throw the ball in this series. He has a great arm, one hopper right to the plate. And you have Cano coming to the plate with Cruz on deck. A three hit day for Robinson Kino. Got a bases loaded walk, RBI in the eighth. We'll put him on. And they'll pitch to Cruz with the bases loaded. They had him loaded in the eighth, and Feliz struck him out. That's the first batter that Feliz saw. Kino, great numbers against Feliz.
10 10 ball game. He's over 40 pitches now. Maddox, a pitching coach, surveying things. Here's the fourth pitch ball four to Cano. So on back to back innings, Cruz comes up now. Second time, base is loaded. Solo blast in the first, three run homer in the third, a strikeout in the fourth, seventh, and eighth. And he gets a chance to win the ball game right here. Seth Smith is the guy the Mariners want to get home. He's the winning run. First pitch from Feliz. And again, there's that off speed pitch that he showed the first time up. It looked like the change up this time. to Cruz. Two outs, bases loaded. One one. Outside, two balls in one strike. Three pitches now from Feliz and this at bat. It's the changeup, that was a slider and also a fastball. Two and one. Two and two now to Cruz. Bases loaded, bottom nine in a 10 10 ball game. Cruz trying to win it right here. Two balls, two strikes. And he does! Base hit, game over! Nelson Cruz wins the ball game in the ninth. Mariners win it, 11-10. What a ball game. Nelly Cruz with five RBIs today. And the Mariners take the series two games to one. What a great comeback win for these guys. You never know, Dave, as you move along in the season, the type of games that you play and you win. But Felix was just outstanding yesterday. What an effort by him. The Mariners winning that game 3-1. to one. And they come back and take the series after Paxton gives up seven runs in the third. They come back and win the series. And Nelson Cruz, look at what the job the middle of the lineup had done in this game this afternoon. Kyle Seeger drives in three. Cruz drives in three. Cano, it was on base all day long, drove in a run himself. What a great comeback win for the Mariners. On your Mariner calendar, you may want to circle this date as we move forward through the 2015 season. 11-10. Victory by the Mariners. 96 mile an hour fastball. They wanted to go to the outside corner and ran back to the middle of the plate. And what an afternoon for Cruz. A couple of home runs. And now this base hit with two outs in the bottom of the ninth inning to drive in Seth Smith and give the Mariners the win. A five RBI day for Cruz, and he hit that ball hard. What did we put on him earlier showing his two home runs a game changer? Yes, sir. He certainly is that, and he has been here in the first couple of weeks of the season. We particularly like that third inning field goal he kicked to get the ball <laughs> back in the game. Good point. And this is the guy we were missing last year, and he's with the Mariners now, and Jim Mueller standing by right now with Nelson Cruz. Well, Dave Sims, I think it was the understatement of the game as Nelson Cruz comes over and says, man, that was a good game. <laughs> it certainly was. Hey, that last at bat against Feliz, 
you know, he was, he, he looked different today than maybe his previous outings. What did you see from Feliz today? Uh, he's tough, you know. He got a great fastball and he was missing his pitches, too, you know. I mean, we had to be credit to my teammates. They battle. It was unbelievable. It was one of the craziest games I've ever seen. I've been played with, too. It certainly was. Now, I know that you like the home runs. <laughs> your official welcome to Seattle. We know that you had some home runs previously, but today, not just one, but two at Safeco Field. Is it okay to talk about how far you blasted that second home run? <laughs> I just one of those by, you know, tried to put in play, you know, and hopefully go out and thanks God, you know, went out. What does this win say about the team? Because really it was like two halves of the game. You had the first three innings and then the last six innings of that one. It was, uh, I mean, a tell that we have a lot of termination, you know, and never we give up, we never give up, and, I mean, we have an awesome team. We also have some orange-stained jerseys to show for this one. Go inside and enjoy this one. <laughs> the welcome wagon keeps coming. That was uh, Robinson Cano for that one. We'll get you a towel. We'll get this out to the guys in center field. Jen, thank you very much. I don't know what else they could do.